you smell like this video was inspired by my friend Ricardo who asked me to teach him how to use Adobe Premiere but I never did so Ricardo I made this video just for you all right so to anyone who's watching this video I'm warning you right now that I don't think I'll be able to teach you properly because I don't think I'm that good because wait one I'm pretty basic in Adobe I don't really know what I'm doing sometimes I just wing it two I just do whatever it works, you know? If it looks okay, then I'm alright with it. And three, I'm a horrible teacher, so yeah. I'm warning you now. But if you're sticking to this video, then that's your loss. Alright, so before I teach you, I thought of adding some history to it and how Adobe started. And I just watched this guy named Cold Fusion, and basically, I'm gonna summarize it. So, okay. Here's my PowerPoint presentation of the history of Adobe. PowerPoint presentation made by me as I watch this guy on YouTube and basically summarize everything. And I don't even know if the things that I'm going to say are accurate. So now let's start. So by December of 1982, two dudes named John Warnock and Charles Gesch Geschke? Geschke? Ge Gesch I'm so sorry if I'm butchering his name. Uh, Geschke? Geshki, I think. Oh, I'm so sorry. They made and produced Adobe in their garage. Yeah, great things happen in the garage. They basically made a product that would help graphic designers during that time with their art. So it would be easier and faster. But during the time in the 80s, I don't think that a lot of graphic artists really use computers since everything was done traditionally. And computers were expensive back then. So, you know... People, marketers, even thought that it was a stupid thing. You know, no one's gonna buy it. It's useless. But then, they still went ahead with it because I think they're entrepreneurs and that's what they do. You take risks and then boom, boom. Look at it now. Everyone's using the computers to like make art, graphic design, and things. It's the future. They made the future during the 80s. They were ahead of their time. Okay, next by... 1982 Steve Jobs was like hey that's pretty cool so he was like uh, he wanted to buy Adobe Premiere for five million dollars but then um, Charles Warnock and Charles Geschke I think that's how you say his name I'm so sorry we're like no bro we don't want to do that but in the end they did they did sell shares worth 19% of the company and by, by their first year they gained some profit and yes Stuff happened, and stuff happened. If you notice me reading, it's because I have notes here. He. Okay, next slide. By 1987, two brothers developed uh, Adobe Photoshop, and these brothers are Th Thomas and John Knoll. And I think one of them had to stop college for like six months, I'm not so sure, to like develop the software. And then, stuff happened. Adobe became successful in etc. Um, Acrobat Reader they created I think PDF where they, you're unable to like you'll be able to see documents without losing quality and such and after that more stuff happened like um, I think Charles was the one who got kidnapped and to, well as he was going to work in California in Adobe he was kidnapped by two robbers and threatened to like chop him to pieces if he wouldn't like if he wouldn't compromise and they would like hurt his family so he went and then his wife panicked and the wife um, I think she did a lot of stuff to save him and etc and in the end they called the FBI and the FBI helped them and then they were able to um, retrieve Charles back and they were safe and they continued on with normal lives. Now, yes, moving on. Stuff happened, more stuff happened. They finally made an editing software for videos. And now at this point of the PowerPoint presentation, I got lazy. So now I guess it's time to teach you. Let's start. Okay, hi. So now we are in the part of the video where I try my best to teach you how to do Adobe. Again, I just want to say I am a noob at this as well. I'm pretty basic, so good luck to you in understanding. Anywho, a lot of people may be saying that like, I do have a lot of friends who said that 
um, they don't learn Adobe because it's quite intimidating and it looks hard. Well, everything, if you start something, it's usually hard, but it gets easy. So yes. So now, usually what you do first, <laughs> obviously you open Adobe. Wait, hold on, let me just fix myself. And then you start a new project and then you just save it on the file where you want to save it. And then you name it. I'll say Adobe. Adobe tutorial. Tutorial. I'm bothered by this. Okay. Click OK. So now that you saved it, this is how I insert my clips. Here's here are your workspaces. Here, this is where you place all your clips, the needed clips. And here, this is the timeline where you edit the the clips that you're doing or you want people to see. Uh, I'm so bad in explaining. Here is the effects control. You can here you can like scale stuff, fix the audio and etc. Well, I'll, I'll show you. And here this is where your video clip will be displayed on exactly what you're working on. So let me check. So now I will teach you how to insert some clips. So now these are the clips that I prepared. I will select everything and I will drag it here to import in here. Now I will now choose exactly what I want to work on. So I want to work on with this clip. So I drag it in there and I also want to work on this clip. So I'll also drag that there. Hold on. I want to click the magnet tool. So I'm precise on placing my clips that I think that's what it is. Again, I'm basic. I'm not a pro at this. Now, what do I want to work with you? And I also want to work with this clip called Smell. So yeah, as you can see, as I clicked on the magnet, when I drag in a clip, it's precise on where to add it in. It ends. It it inserts at the end of the last clip. So now I will drag in the like, which doesn't want to. Okay, here as you can see, there's like a black. There's like a black line. It makes you drop in the part where it ends the the last clip where it ends and that's where yes and <laughs> i'm trying and then finally smell like butt okay all right let's go so don't forget to click the snap and timeline that's very important for me at least yes so these are my clips these are the selected clips that i used and oh also i forgot to tell you um in your timeline, you have different types of layers. As you can see, there's the V1, V2, V3. These are the video layers. This is where your videos are at or what you're seeing. And the A1, A2, and A3. These are the audio layers. These are where the this is where this is where the audios are at. Alright? Okay. Alright. Nice. <laughs> and um before, I just want to add like before I had this problem where in if usually when you select a clip, as you can see, both video and audios are selected. But then before I was like wondering, I had this problem where like when I click the said clip, not both, both of them weren't selecting. And I was like wondering why, and I didn't really have anyone to teach me, but thankfully there's Google. So it turns out this thing called link selection, you need to check that because usually when you're when you're editing, you usually move things around, right? And it's really important that you know that you're selecting both the audio and the video clip. So you have to um, select them together because you need them to sync in with each other. And I had that problem because I didn't know how to fix it. Turns out all you have to do is click this one. And when you click a link, if you click a clip, you, if you click a clip, you're clicking both things. So yeah, that's... That's one thing. Yes. Now here, um, I just want to drag here a bit, right? That's how you drag stuff. You select it and just drag it. Um, this one, this thing selects everything as you can see. This arrow, I think that's what it's for if I'm not mistaken. And yes, I'm only going to teach you the things that I know exactly. Yeah, as I said a while ago. And yeah, so now... There are parts of the video, like if I want to start with the first clip, there are parts where I don't want to add. 
So I can I usually do two things with it. I either select this thing and then wait sorry control Z. I left click and I drag it. Right. So I can finally start in the clip where I'm drawing or writing. Or you can also do it, what you can also do is you click the razor tool. You can either click C or the razor tool itself, and then you left click and left click and then you cut it and then go back to the selection tool and you <laughs> click it and then you press delete and that's how you remove it so now i will remove the things that i don't want to add so i want to yeah that okay now that i don't want to add in this clip i'm just gonna click it and delete it boom and then i select I can take this tool again and I select everything and I can just drag it. There we go. Put it here. All right, next up. Um, these are your, like if you wanna like adjust the audio or the size of the clip, you click effects control at the top panel. But I just wanna see, I'm currently on the editing workspace. You can check that out in um adobe there's works different types of workspaces as you can see there's the learning workspace assembly editing color effects audio graphics blah, 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 excuse blah, blah, etc so i'm currently working on the editing workspace so yes so anywho if i want to make the audio louder for this one oops, sorry you can see it here in the effects control you click on the clip and then you click effects control and you can see the stuffs here there's position there's scale there's rotation this is how you can scale things make things larger for example if i want this clip bigger or smaller i just do that or if i want it to go to the left side i can click that so there go down i can do that you usually drag it or if i want to make it smaller I go to scale and I just dabble with it. Yeah. Here, 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 here. There you go. But I don't really, I just want it to be the normal size. So I, I stick to 100. And anywho, if I want to make the odd now, if I want to make the audio louder or softer, I can go to levels, which is under uh, the effects control in the audio effects. I can increase it i think db db wait what does db mean oh my gosh i forgot let me just search it okay decibel okay i was right i was thinking of it god i'm so dumb <laughs> so if i want to make the audio louder i can just click on the i can just increase it or decrease it you you move your mouse like to the left if you want to decrease it, and then to the right if you want to increase it or you can just type so maybe I'll just go back to zero or maybe go back to six decibels. All right, nice. So here we go. Okay, now, or you can also do is you go to the timeline or the layer of the audio, the audio layer, and you can scrub it. So as you can see at the bottom, it says negative 1.38 decibels. So you can just scribble around on how much but I, I i just recommend i recommend you to like just type it because it's much easier yes uh, make sure to always start them so it's everything is layered or everything is exact there we go i am trying i'm so bad at this <laughs> okay nice now i will just work on the other clips so I, since i don't want that i'll just put that there I'm just gonna teach you how to like put clips together. I'm sorry, my lighting is so inconsistent because I'm using the sun. Okay. All right. Now I want to fix in the audio. I just wanna um six. This one's also six. Oh, six. And six. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now let's see. You smell like. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. That's my video. That's it.
Um. Uh, the one thing I also learned is you can color grade here. So usually when I want to color grade or change the color of something, I can just click this one, click a clip, and then click color. And then here you can dabble around if I want to. You click on the clip, as I said, and you can change it to vibrant. So you can see the color just turn more vibrant or saturated more. You see, just change the color you. of things smell but i don't really see the point of color grading that so anywho yeah that's it if i wanted to add text if you also want to add text you can click on type tool and you can type stuff like worst tutorial ever yeah okay at this point i'm already like so blank right now i i know how to use adobe but I don't know how exactly to teach people how to use Adobe. So Ricardo, if you watch this, I'm so sorry for wasting your time. You should just watch other YouTubers. Okay, thanks. Bye. Hold on. I forgot to teach you. Okay. So I'll just get in back to the editing workspace. So now if, you, if you're if you done. Wait, since you added text, you can, you can see here. It's uh, 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 under the video timeline. It added a new layer and this is the text layer and just the same as clips you can adjust it to your liking on how short or long it will be so i just want it to be in the start of the video here and yeah you, you can do that usually i just click on the thing if i want to adjust it you can also play go to the fx control you click on here and you click on your text and then you can just like adjust it also if you want wide you can scale it it's just like a you can it, it works like a video you can scale it you can change the text and stuff and stuff yeah that's how you add text yes and stuff and now if you want to like if you're done with your video if you're done working with it you can finally export it you click file and then you click export and then you click media and then here you can see the thing that you made and here you can do your own presets with it and you know just watch other tree troopers on how to do it i'll just click choose this since i'm too lazy i'll just choose youtube 1080p full hd and i when i was starting out with adobe i wasn't really like I didn't know where my files were going once I export it. Turns out all you have to do is click output name and choose a folder on where to save it. First tutorial ever. And then you export. Yeah, I, I though I recommend you to like get better presets than the one given by Adobe, I think. I think, yeah, just, just do better. So yeah, that's it. That's my video. It's pretty bad i don't know if you learned anything i'm a horrible teacher yeah i'm sorry okay bye thanks for watching